we're on a, a landscape here just uh, a little bit east of Lac du Bois. Could you give us a little bit of a description of uh, what we're seeing around us here? Yes, Art. First of all, we're sitting in the middle of a came complex, uh, a glacial fluvial uh, parent material deposit. But within that, we have a glacial lacustrine uh, parent material uh, or a lake bed land form that developed within this particular um, environment. Mm -hmm. So in terms of uh, um, landforms, you mentioned the word lacustrine. And that means what? Uh, glacial lacustrine means that the uh, material formed in a lake where the water was derived from a glacier. Mm -hmm. So we had ice and blocks and pieces all over here as the glacier was disintegrating. And the sands and gravels were being deposited as these canes or these hummocky piles that we see around. But in this area here was probably protected by ice in various areas and there was a small lake here. So as the meltwater was moving through the glacial fluvial deposits and depositing that, it was carrying the silts and clays into this little lake environment. Okay, so uh, what kind of parent materials would be generated by that and that kind of process in this landform? So the parent materials, it's glacial lacustrine and the landform is a lake bed and the parent materials have a silt and clay texture. And what happens is in the summertime, those lakes um, were fairly turbid, there was water coming in, and the silts being uh, larger and little heavier particles would settle to the bottom. And in the wintertime, those lakes froze over and the water became quite still underneath the ice, and that's when the clays settled out. So we got these layers built up over time called varves. Depending on how much silt and clay was coming into the lake will determine how thick those particular layers are. You see when I dig the sample out, it's coming out in plates and I can break these apart. I can see the layers, actually they're... We have some more varves here, and if you look very closely at this, you can see the distinct layers. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve, thirteen, fourteen layers in here. Layers of silt and clay. The clay will be the, probably be the lighter ones. These are are like annual rings in a tree. So I've got 14 years of depositions. So they've actually used bars to actually determine how long the glacial lake was in place or present. So that's one of the identifying features of glacial lacustrine parameters is this layering that you see mm -hmm. which is very very distinct.